So uh, it's a pleasure to be here at uh, IDAC, and uh, meaning it's a pleasure to be here at Hyderabad. And uh, it's a pleasure to really hear some uh, great uh, ideas, thoughts. And uh, strangely, uh, uh, like the people talk about blurring of lines, uh, hospitality and commercial are completely different things. But I couldn't really make out the difference between some of the work that I was seeing here. The merger between what is commercial and hospitality is like extremely blurred. So uh, my practice actually is uh, today predominantly in hospitality space. And my talk is sort of based around uh, the work that we are involved in. And uh, the, uh, the, the talk is uh, on narratives, uh, storytelling, and how you build an, uh, a story behind any of the work that you do. So a lot of us have these family albums at home, which you open up and you see photographs of your grandmother talking to you, you have your parents, you have, a, you have this scary uncle who used to tell you these stories about this ghost in this place. But these are memories that actually really stay with you. And uh, uh, you also have teachers in school, and there used to be like the, the, the uh, idea of storytelling is so deep that uh, uh, it, uh, it, it's, if you look at it from a traditional concept, it used to be under the tree, it could be in a classroom, it could, could be in various other kinds of places. So a lot of us have this kind of a background to this, and eventually at some point you, you get past school, you get to probably college. I went to uh, the Ahmedabad School of Architecture, and we had some really great teachers there. And uh, Doshi and uh, Kurlavarki uh, were people whom I have actually had the uh, opportunity of interacting with. And uh, Doshi is a great storyteller in the sense there's a lot of jargon which is used in architecture. But these people were very easy speaking storytellers. Everything about what they spoke about was stories, little stories that made a lot of impact to what has happened with my practice, especially with uh, Kurlo Arki and I mean, Tremendous Man. So these are influences that have actually greatly influenced me. And uh, Doshi was always very cryptic about what he spoke about. This is something that he said when I was actually talking to him about uh, a museum project that we were working on. And he was saying museums about silence and there is also noise. And he was referring to something which is so cryptic that at that point of time made no sense to me, but it actually makes a lot of sense. So the first of the stories uh, which I have on my side is actually the story of the five brothers. And this is a hospitality project. This is a property that we've been working with for a long time. It's an operational resort. Uh, it's the Radisson, uh, uh, the Temple Bay property just outside Chennai in Mahabalipuram. Uh, uh, the Mahabalipuram has got history of the uh, Pandavas. Uh, the, uh, uh, the Chola kings are the ones who built the Mahabalipuram. But it's actually commemorative of the exile of the Pandavas. We keep talking about the Pancharat, which is the five ruts which have been built in uh, this thing, but we keep forgetting there's actually a sixth person in this, which is Draupadi. There were the five brothers and you had Draupadi. And this has got a big impact on Mahabalipuram. And this is like a story that we actually picked on when we moved on to working with the uh, spaces itself. So uh, this is a series of cottages that we're working on, low-rise cottages. And uh, conceptually, if you look at it, uh, we picked on art, which is a certain kind of traditional art, but more uh, representative of, of the five brothers and Draupadi. And there is a lot of iconage of uh, the furniture, the, uh, the, the embellishments are all Indian historical elements, uh, but also keeping in mind it's a luxurious property. So luxury, there is also color which is added in. I'll get back to what that is about. Uh, it's a low-rise structure, so which meant that, uh, and these are large units. These are uh, uh, near 1,000 square feet uh, units. There's a large garden space that you enter in from. You have the living space, you have the, uh, the bed space within there. The toilet unit is slightly separated. It being low and having a pitch roof meant that we had surfaces that we could actually work with. One surface actually is commemorative of the idea or the theme of the Pandavas there. And uh, taking the cue from the five brothers, uh, each room is representative of one of them and Draupadi. As, uh, the, so the color green was actually representative of Arjuna is what we had actually interpreted it as. These are some views of uh, what the cottage uh, looks like. So that is the entrance uh, portion. Uh, it's got an overtone of uh, traditionality, uh, a certain uh, iconage also which has been used, which is from the traditional context. These are images of the rooms uh, within. You'll see that there is a green wall 
with large paintings in there. Each painting is representative of one of the uh, Pandavas. So this is the Arjuna room, So which means that he takes center stage. It's a colored uh, portraiture of his with Draupadi also on that. So each of these rooms take a different color theme with this. And there is a lot of uh, work with metal and uh, uh, soft furnishing which actually go in. Uh, that's the large wall with uh, uh, the paintings of the Pandavas. There is also iconage, which is actually sort of depictive of each one of the brothers, which is actually built in here. Moving on, the second story is about Madras memories. This is the uh, Radisson Airport property. Uh, it sits in a, it's actually, uh, Chennai has got two uh, uh, cantonments. One is in Fort St. George, the other one is in the Palavaram area, which is where this particular property is. And it's next to the airport. Uh, it being a cantonment area meant that the British had a lot of influence in this area, the East India Company. And uh, that's a photograph of uh, St. Thomas Mount from the 1900s, very sparsely populated. And uh, so this particular project has got multi-layers. It's like stories that always have multiple layers which are built into this. This is a story about travel. It's about the British era, but in a modern context. But the other part to the story is also about the Wiley Klein story. Wiley Klein are these two uh, Dutch and German uh, photographers who came to India in the 1800s, late 1800s, stayed till around about the early 1900s, traveled extensively across India, photographing India and South India especially. Uh, portraitures, uh, they shot on glass plates. Uh, and uh, the story goes that um, they left pre-World uh, War because one of them was German and uh, the work got lost. And sometime in the 80s, when somebody was breaking down a house in Kudekanal, they found this archive of around 3,000 plates, which is the photographs of the Wiley Klein collection. And a lot of them have been restored. These are 70-odd photographs of Chennai. And if you look at the dates, uh, they are largely the early part of the 20th century. And these are all buildings which obviously exist even today. Uh, really beautiful buildings, but to see them in the context of what it was in those days. So a lot of this has been actually used. So these rooms are called Madras Memories or the Wiley Klein rooms. So the way this has been used is that if you look at it, uh, it's got an overtone of uh, darker woods. Uh, there is the idea of uh, travel which comes out of uh, uh, represented with trunks because in the older days travel was with with these larger wooden trunks with leather handles and things like that which were there and uh, the rooms are straightforward because the thing is that these are it's a city property so it's a very tight kind of a room uh, this is actually uh, an opening shot of what the room looks like we have used the backdrop as uh, representative of uh, the older buildings that is the uh, so the Southern Railways building which is in Chennai. It's next to the railway station. And this is uh, the same images which are blown up large, printed on veneer in sepia tone. It's a huge exercise because we've done 110 rooms here and uh, every fifth room has got a variated, it's a different print. So it's printed across three panels. There are various other elements which are built in. You'll see the side tables which are built like the trunks with the leather handles and the um, overtone of design is largely uh, from the Art Deco era. You'll also see the uh, day bed which is there at the side with trunk-like uh, front fascia with leather handles. Uh, the mini bar has got those openings which look like portholes, uh, again representative of the older year travel. And these are some details of uh, how the headboard works. Again, again, leather embellishments, the handles which I was talking about earlier. And uh, uh, this is the toilets. Uh, so this is again, if you look at the mirror, it's again, the form is taken again from the porthole. And I conclude this by leaving this with a quote, which is from Kurlavarki. And this is at some point of time, he actually said that every line that you draw has got a story. And every time I pick up the pencil, meaning often enough, I think about this. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Sunil. You know, in the marketing jargons, we say that people connect with stories and stories sell. And this is a beautiful integration of how you connected stories into your work. In order to felicitate you, I would like to invite Mr. Amit Shah from CMC. Welcome, sir. Here we have the trophy. Can we hear 
Credit for Mr. Sunil Philippe, PSB Design. Thank you, gentlemen.